Hey guys, welcome back to the game replay. I'm David Escher. The game we're playing is Theater Rhythm Final Fantasy Curtain Call for the Nintendo 3DS. All right, good stuff. Uh, Bailey is back there. He's checking me out. He's watching me. Good stuff, Bailey. Uh, how you guys doing? Awesome stuff. Uh, as you can tell, this is the first part of a recording session, and uh, I got my coffee here. Awesome. Can't really, can't really be drinking my coffee during cutscenes like sometimes. Sometimes I do that uh, if I'm playing like uh, like a, fi a regular Final Fantasy game, you know, because those 10-minute cutscenes you can do a lot. Go to the bathroom. Uh, can't do that. Can't do that at all because I'm busy pushing buttons. Anyway, guys, this is gonna be crazy. I want to get to some awesome songs. I didn't really warm up at all. I did kind of like browse through some things and got excited, and I kind of want to just. I kind of want to just play some of the music tracks, so, uh, awesome stuff. Hello, Editing Dave. Also, how are you doing today? Ooh, look, I'm touching the screen. Maybe I should play by touching the screen today. What do you guys think? So, Editing Dave, how are you doing? Are you enjoying the editing process of this walkthrough? Well, Editing Dave can't talk right now. Sure, later, but if you were here, I'm sure Editing Dave would say, uh, you know, Dave, I actually enjoy editing this walkthrough, even though there's a lot of extra steps now, it's a lot more work, but it's it, this is a fun one to edit because it looks nice, things are set up in a cool way, and uh, Editing Dave digs the music tracks, man. Doesn't even skip those in the editing process. Editing Dave listens to those, even though he could just skip ahead, you know, because there's nothing to edit during that part. Haha! <laughs> and I'm sure Editing Dave would say, now, Dave, shut up, and start playing the game. And listening to the music. Okay, fine. Calm down, editing, Dave. Jeez, man. Alright, um, so we're gonna just go to music stages. Pick one screen or the other, you know? So, let's see here. Uh, we got 9, 10... Never play this game ever. Okay, um, you know, I gotta tell you, I'm kind of in a Final Fantasy XII mood. Final Fantasy XII, in my opinion, had like, I don't know, should, should we say underrated soundtrack, or, I don't know, I, cause I just feel like the soundtrack was really good, and I don't wanna even say that this game was forgotten, I mean, you had 10, 10, 2, and hey man, that's been remastered now, right, by now, by this point, um, but at this point, 12 has not, and uh, man, sometimes I just feel like it's a little overlooked, anyway, um, let's see here, guys. What does the chocobo mean? Who should be in the front of the party for the chocobo? There's like the three settings, one for the battler, one for like magic people, and then one for like quickness stamina. I got Titus in the front right now because I think he's supposed to be there for chocobo stuff. Hey, you want to know my favorite track? One of my favorite tracks in 12, the Dalmasca Ester Sand. So we're going to go into it right now. Um, I'm going to try expert score here. Hopefully I can do good. Um, my thumb is actually bugging me. This is, and this is the probably the most important finger, the thumb.
Uh, good enough. Good enough. Excellent. How about, uh, FMS, right? It looks like a P. It looks like a P. PMS. Uh, no. But hey, by the way, I got like new people in my party for the most part. Eh, half and half, I guess. Titus, Yuna, uh, Ramza, and Benjamin. Me? Yeah, I remember when Benjamin said that. In the beginning of the game. Me? The Focus Tower? Me? And so on and so on. Hey, hello! Um, mm hmm. Seven, Advent Children. Ah. How about we do 12, and you know what? We're gonna go and check out Advent Children, actually. Yeah, man, okay, is that cool? I'm just kind of in a 12 groove right now. Select another song. Kind of in a 12 groove right now. I've been getting comments um, and requests, and I'm gonna try and uh, fulfill some of that. So, good stuff. Actually, I thought there was a request for, like, do some more 12, like, do 12 stuff. So, um, how about... The Giza Plates. This is actually another cool one. I uh, I dig this one. And uh, I'm gonna check it out. Me? Yes, me. Man, that, that threw me. That threw me. There was this, like, part that repeated a couple times. And, uh, yeah, it was like, it was tough. I wonder if my party has anything to do with it. Maybe I should switch Titus Head. I kind of, uh, I know it would take time, and then we want to get on the different songs, but I really want to do that one again. I wanted to do both. I want to do both again, really. Um... Let me edit my party. I'm still totally unsure who needs to... I really should look it up. Um, who should be in the front? I only know the bad, uh, the battlers should be in, like, the, uh, BMSs, the battle stuff. That's the only one I know. The other two, I don't totally know. So, Titus... Should I switch for Yuna or something, or...? Let's have a look here. Hmm. I took... Well, alright, hold on. 
hold on. Here we go. So, Titus out to Yuna. Terra, that's cool. Um... So I wanted to get new party members in there, but... There's a difference. I think there's a difference between level 22 and level 6, you know what I'm saying? Oh, my. <laughs> Maybe I should do another 12 song. What do you guys think? Why don't we just do another 12 song? Yeah, let's go with this. Um, I can't quite place this one, this, uh, the High Waste track. Where is it from? It's vaguely familiar. I, I feel like it was one of those Trek tracks, you know, when you're trekking out real far. Not bad. Not bad. Maybe getting Yuna in there was the uh, right way to go. I probably shouldn't be using those characters for expert stuff, you know, until you level them up a little bit. Like I said, differences with 8 to 23. Terra's been, you know, Terra's been like in there just chilling all, pretty much the whole time. Good stuff. So we're going to select another song, and uh, maybe we should get off 12. Hopefully more 12 uh, tracks unlocked. Like I said a little bit earlier, um, yeah, I'm reading your comments, so... Um, oh, wait. Let's go back to the music stages. Well, I was going to edit my party. I'm going to edit my party, because I'm going to put, like, a fighter in there. A fighter. It's going to get stuff done. I should put Cecil in there, and he is... You know, Cloud is... Look at Cloud there. That's not bad. You know, I'm gonna go with Cloud. Should be, uh, should be good stuff. You know, perhaps Yuna was doing better there. Uh, or just I was... Eh, who knows. Either way, good stuff, and, uh, I guess we're warming up here a little bit. We're warming up. Uh, like I said, yeah, read your comments, so, uh... I definitely want to do some of the um, tracks or games you're just suggesting. So once again, if you want to suggest something, uh, you know, like if I'm scrolling by and you, you know something catches your eye, go, you know, go ahead, say it, and I'll do my best to get to it. Seriously. Oh right, and another comment. I forgot. That's what I was originally gonna say. Is for now, there's gonna be no more Mystic Quest, which is total. I mean, come on, this is just wrong. Maybe no tactics for a while? 
Oh my. Ah. Uh, ah, yes. Yeah, so how about we go and do some uh, Advent Children? Genova AC version, expert score. Yeah, we could do it. I wanted to start this immediately so we didn't even have a chance to listen to this version. Let's just remember when. Strong finish. Strong finish. Yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. That was, uh, it was pretty good. Oh man, there was this one part where it got so crazy, and then I had to look away, and then it didn't wait for me, it kept going. Oh man, this game. This game does not wait up for you, man. It'll just keep going, and it'll kick you while you're down. Good stuff. Maybe I should look at those cards if we can. I'm not really too interested. Okay. And then... Let's just take this opportunity. Hello. Alrighty. So we're gonna select another song. Maybe I'll do... Alright, maybe I'll do some Advent Children. Again. Um... How about, um, I thought we did this one. I guess we just did the regular 7 version. Well, either way, we're gonna do this version right now. Said I'd do some more Advent Children. Then up next, we'll switch it up to another game.
interesting. Ah, uh, finally, I cracked a hundred in a row, by the way. Yeah, I've been keeping track of that. I believe that was the first time I got, like, a hundred in a row without a mess up. Ah, oh, so, uh, oh, chain, 104. It was 104. And then, I don't know what happened at the end there. Yeah. Uh, and then I gotta tell you, all I was thinking during that was... It's probably, it's probably been the amount of time since Advent Children was released, which was 2000 and... I don't know, I don't remember. Six, five, seven, eight, four? I, I don't know, man. 2000 something. Like 10 years ago, 10 ish years ago. And, uh. Yeah, the, the, the movie started, and there was a lot of stupid talking, and you couldn't see, like, faces, and then it was all, like, moody and stupid. It, it was stupid, guys, come on. Uh, and then, like, I don't know, there's walking, I think Tifa's there, she's walking around, and these dudes come up, and then all of a sudden, like, like, jump kick out of nowhere, and then, like, slow motion, it's like, oh man, it's battle time, and then they play that song. Like, five minutes in, they play that song, and it's just like, and then it, it just got ridiculous. What, oh, what the, I have no idea what I unlocked there. So, who should we go with? <laughs> choices, choices. Tifa, number two, where'd you come from? Let's get you in there. I don't recall seeing her. She's in now. Alright. Good, good. So, Advent Children was just so goofy, and then, like... I don't know, everyone's like flying around practically, like DBZ style. Almost! They weren't flying around, but man, they just jump in like as high as anything else. They might as might as well have been flying around, right? Uh it, it's just kinda of ridiculous. It, it was ridiculous. Come on. Hmm. I just I really just completed my 10-2 walk through. I can't go back now. Um, how about we finish up, how about we finish this video on some Final Fantasy 4? Which one? Oh, I don't know. We got the red wings. Um, hey, you want to know my, one of my most favorite tracks was the Tower of Zot. Yeah, that's right. Tower of Zot was actually one of my one of my favorite tracks from Final Fantasy IV. And uh, in my opinion, I don't know, I haven't checked in a while, but like back in the day, I always wished there was a good remix of it out there, you know, like OCR style. Um, but nah, I never really never really got one. It's been a while since I checked, you know. Um, maybe I'll look for a nice Tower of Zot remix.
Rita. Oh. oh man, that was definitely my record. Um, chain 132. Um, and then for a while I thought I could go all the way, but it gets oh, it gets so tough, man. It really gets tough, and you make like one little mistake, and then it just it really throws you. You try and rebound, and uh, the rebounding's kind of tough. It depends, I guess. It depends. Hearing the Tower of Zot theme reminds me of of Golbez um, fighting the Magus sisters and Tella dying. And actually, the first time I really, truly, truly got stuck, well, the biggest, the like there was uh, with um, Millen on the... Uh, on the mountain, and Cecil was gonna become a paladin. There was like fighting Cecil Shadow. Like I had to figure that out at first because that was tough to figure out, man, at the time. Um, I don't know. But yeah, w once they got to the Tower of Zot, that was like really tricky fighting the Magus sisters. And this is back in '91. This is when I was very young, also. And uh, yeah, it's just it was tough. It's really not that tough. Um, you just you get stronger and you attack this one, that one, and then. And then Sandy at the end. Um, but yeah, the Tower of Zot got me stuck for like, I don't know, like a couple months. You know, you go to another video game, you come back. But that was that was crazy, dude. Um, Troy and Beauty. How about we finish with this track? Mm. Stretching my arms, getting ready here. Gotta like crack your knuckles. Crack your knuckles and get ready, you know what I'm saying? So good stuff, we're gonna finish with this song. Hello, Kane. <laughs> it's Kane. Yeah. Joy and beauty always reminds me of Edward, laying in bed. He is such, he's such a pussy. <sighs> I like Edward though. He's a spoony bard, man. Um, it reminds me of Tell a little bit. Um, everyone, everyone would always visit. Edward in, in bed. First, uh, first Tella was there, then Edge came around. Oh man, Edward. And uh, what else? It, it reminded me of Dark Elf going over there doing that cave stuff. Actually, it reminded me of calling the Square Enix. Oh, excuse me, the Square Soft headquarters in the Redmond, Washington, was it? That, I believe that doesn't exist anymore for like a little while now, but it was like the American headquarters and um, yeah, it was the American headquarters and I would call them up the, the, the tip line, the hotline, man, because I didn't know how to defeat blah blah blah, I didn't know how to do this and that, and I remember calling up and more times than, than not, like I would get the 
I would get the Troyan Beauty um, theme song playing there, and uh, I, I think it was like the piano version. And you know, at the time, you don't know what this is. I was like, wait, this this sounds different. Little kid Dave doesn't understand wh what this is. I'm doing the phone thing. Hey, I'm talking on the phone. You can see me talking. All right, thanks for the information. I gotta go beat the boss. Hmm. There you go. So, um, good stuff. <laughs> I'm enjoying my coffee, as you can see. And, uh, yeah, we mixed it up. We did... We did some seven admin children, twelve, and we just finished with four. Awesome stuff, guys. I'm gonna get to some more, um, tracks from other Final Fantasies on the next part, but for now, I'm gonna call it a wrap right here. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Of course, leave me those comments. Tell me what you think. Like always, guys, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter. The links are in the description. I'm Dave the Usher for the Game Replay. Stay tuned for the next part of Theater Rhythm, Final Fantasy Curtain Call. I'll see you guys next time. I am out.